In this video I'll be doing a review of Kubuntu 1304. It's the KDE flavoured release of the Ubuntu series and kind of has more of a resemblance to Windows 7. However, not with some of these add-ons I've enabled that are new this time around. First off, you can see there's been a lovely improvement with the desktop wallpaper. The old one just looked so dull and boring. This one does look quite fancy. And there's lots of nice new mouse cursors in the Oxygen Cursor Themes Extra package. And you can use all these ones in Ubuntu as well, and the other flavours of the Ubuntu releases. But I still like the orange cursor. You've got the option of having a global menu now, and you can just switch that on and off. Useful if you want to save space at the top of the screen, so if you're using a netbook or a widescreen monitor. Although for me, it just makes it a bit more Ubuntu flavoured. There's now support for MTP Android devices to be mounted in Dolphin. As you can see here, I can now browse around the contents of my phone. You can now get a Unity-like menu with this widget add-on called Home Run. I can imagine some people hating that. What? We can't have this sort of thing in KDE! Nah, I quite like it though. I'm quite a fan of this style launcher. There's another new feature with this display configuration. Useful if you've got multiple monitors. However, I don't. And, and lastly, there's improved support for UEFI Secure Boot BIOSes, so it's a whole lot easier now to get Kubuntu installed on a dual-booted system with Windows 8. However, I have been finding issues with this release of 1304 in general. In particular, with the kernel, it's causing a lot of system crashes. It's just totally killing the system, yet you have to end up rebooting it. And initially, I couldn't install the VirtualBox guest editions, because there would be a system crash before the driver install would complete. Now I found all these problems would just go away if you upgraded the kernel. It just means you have to do manual kernel upgrades, but the system runs a whole lot better. I'll take a look through the applications we have installed. So games, you've just got KPatience, card game. Under graphics, you've got Gwenview, Camaso Webcam Viewer, Krita Image Editor, K Snapshot, LibreOffice Draw, Ocular, and Scan Lite. Under internet, for the email client, we've got Kmail. Torrent client is Ktorrent. And browser is Reconk. But you do have the option of installing Firefox. Well, considering just about every application is a KDE app, under Office is the only exception where you have LibreOffice. If you are considering upgrading, well, bear in mind there's not really a whole lot of new features. And if you're using Kubuntu 1204, you've still got another four years support time whereas Kubuntu 13.04 only has a support time of 9 months. Well here's what I thought of Kubuntu 13.04, so easy to use, reasonably. Ease of installation, yeah it's pretty easy to dual boot with Windows. Styling, <laughs> it's fine but it's just a basic desktop theme, so nothing that special really. Boot up speed, pretty low there, 18 seconds. But if you upgrade the kernel, <laughs> it's a whole lot quicker. Responsiveness, it's about average. Number of bugs, yes, the serious issue with the kernel. And literally, as soon as I upgrade to the kernel, no problems there. So that just wipes 10% off its score. Right, selection of pre-installed applications. Reasonable, but you've got no proprietary codecs, but they're easily installed. That's the same old thing I'll say about all the Ubuntu releases. Ooh, actually, bear in mind with this Kubuntu release, it was all pretty much KDE applications, with the exception of LibreOffice. You might like that, you might not. Your choice. A number of applications available, still quite a few, but that are only available through the repositories. So, the good points. Yeah, this release of Ubuntu's 13.04 a whole work a lot better with UEFI. There's lots of nice new Oxygen cursor themes, and there's a couple of useful add-ons with the global menu and home run, Unity type of launcher. Again, though, you might not like those if you're trying to keep away from all the Ubuntu Unity features. Anyway, bad points. You've only got a short support time of nine months and that awful unstable kernel. But it can be manually upgraded if you see the mainline PPA and I've also done a video on that in the past. Anyway, overall, I've given this distro 68%, which is pretty low. Thanks for watching. See you later.